And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event of Pride FC in Las Vegas. Introducing in the blue corner, at six feet, one inch, he weighed in at 224 pounds from the United States of America, Mark Coleman! Mark Coleman is eight and four in pride. And the corner, he is six feet and weighing in at 224 pounds from Russia, pride heavyweight champion, a deafening roar goes up for Pride World Heavyweight oh, Champion Fedor Emelianenko, undefeated in Pride at 12 0. Referee Yuji Shimano with the last minute Nevada instructions. Rule. Five minutes freelance, one minute interval. No air attack, no end passing, no growing, no glass of lobs, okay? This is May Bench. Pretty fast, pretty fast. Check out. There is great respect between these two guys. They didn't even look each other in the eye. They're not trying to have any extra showmanship. They just want to battle. Both talk very glowingly of their opponent. A night where the preeminent MMA organization in the World Pride Fighting Championships makes history by coming Dutch. to Las Vegas. Dutch. It's time for the main Dutch. event. The rematch. It's you the ready? real deal. Ready? Fedor versus Go. Coleman. For those of you that are concerned, as uh, I am as a parent, uh, Mark actually had both his uh, daughters removed from the arena a uh, short, short time ago before he, came, before he fought. And they will be back if he's okay no after knees. the fight. No no knees. Knees. The world no class wrestler head. goes for the single leg no takedown. Head. Great sprawl by Amelia no Echo. Something Mark Coleman told me earlier in the day, Trig. Something you can comment on as Amelia Echo begins. Uh oh, uh oh. He dropped him. He hit him hard on that one. Coleman's got to strive through. He's going to get off his knees and step up. Trying to secure the takedown. Coleman cannot wear his wrestling shoes here in Nevada. He said that that was going to cost him. He felt that that was going to be a big problem for him with the slippery uh, canvas. He, he, has, he always wore his wrestling shoes in previous times overseas because it did give him a little bit more traction. It's been interesting to see if that is the reason why he's uh, uh, falling on his knees and staying put here. He needs to try to start digging up here. I don't think that's the reason right now, but he did want me to, he let me know. He said that that was an area of concern for him. He's in position for a big step through double if he wants to hit it. Fedor's got a deep guillotine choke in. He's a good catch. Nice job to Mark it out. He slipped his head out. He was that was indeed. And so far, reminiscent of the fight with Mirko Krokop and not the Olympic wrestler. He's having his shoot stuffed by his opponent. This time the world heavyweight champion. Big drive, big drive. There it is, finally. He's not gonna be able to hold it. It's coming up right away. He didn't get control of the hips. He's too far down in the legs. You gotta control the hips to be able to finish the takedown on a guy like Fedor. Fedor, the ringside here, we can see his face. Complete poker face. Shows no emotion whatsoever anytime he's competing. how much pressure there is on him being the Pride World Heavyweight Champion. He says the pressure comes during training. He is solely focused on this fight, not underestimating Mark the Hammer Coleman whatsoever. Mark is stepping right now, pick him up if he chooses to. He's got a good position. He's stepping in left. Oh, you get that hand get free. Staying inside, keeping a position where he can't take too many blows. He needs to move to the back side though, trying to try to heal up on uh, grab up on Fedor's ankle and spin to the back, trying to finish his takedown. We talk about Coleman being the originator of the ground and pound. Amelia Nichols taking it to a whole new level. And listen to this crowd in Vegas with a sonorous chant of Fedor. A oh, good throw by Fedor to keep on his feet. Champion to the canvas 
say there's a little blood on Fudo's back. Guys, the hammer with the, trying to take the takedown was leaving himself exposed. I mean, that's the extent of his, his defense. So far, that's how bad he wanted to take him down. Yeah, he needs to at get the expense of himself. Yeah, he needs to get us to the ground. That's the only way he's really going to be able to maintain any kind of offense. The crowd in Las Vegas is on its feet for the most part, taking in every single second of this fight as they're finally broken up. Oh. Where did that mouse under the left eye come from? Was it one from of the rights? It came from the outside. A punch he was taking all these down, so he stuck down underneath. And there is a cause for concern now. They will check the cut. Safety paramount. The medical staff of the Nevada State Athletic Commission now looking over that left eye of Mark Holman. And of course, the vision is key. And they will let the action continue. Wow. You know, if Freddie's going to do that thing, he's going to do just step right in with a big, strong right hand right now. You called it. He ducked it. And Coleman again has him pulled into the corner. But again, wasting energy here, trying somehow to will the takedown against Emilianenko. Man, Coleman is tough. He is tough. He's doing a great job of staying inside here, trying to keep in a position where he has at least somewhat of a defense, somewhat of an offense. Last minute of the first round. So far, he's lasted two minutes longer than the first matchup has Mark Coleman. Coleman said he heard he had a death wish. She said, quote, I'm not afraid at the press conference. I am not afraid to stand in there. He told us he has to find a way to Emelianenko's chin. He's been working a lot of Ten seconds. Already the face showing the markings of a battle, a one-sided battle from Emelianenko. Coleman survives the first round. But Trey, Pedro Emelianenko showing no ring rust whatsoever. Hasn't really had to have that hand tested much. But Coleman sticking with the game plan that brought him to the desk. He's going to have to make some alterations if he wants to emerge victorious in this. Coleman shoot from too far away. He's going to be a little bit close. He's going to get in control of him. But you can't let Pedro backpedal on either because he can throw from, from backing up and not get unconscious. You can think of looking at the beating you know, just took in this first round and he was inside the entire time. And he gets hit here and now immediately lowers his level to try to take a shot here. But he's in such a bad position. He finally shoots him. He's so far away. All he's doing is holding on, trying to survive. And isn't it interesting looking at that replay, you guys? Some wild strikes from Emelianenko, but it's like, it's percentages. The one that counts is the one that hits. But yet, he did miss him with some wild strikes. But Coleman, shouting, hurling, he, is he, in, I don't know if it's intimidation. He's, I mean, I mean he, hit him, he hit him with a, with a hook, uppercut hook combination that literally we marked off his feet before he shot on his leg. Obviously, Coleman respects Emelianenko. Oh, and two. Fedor. Respects Coleman too. It well, is mutual. Yeah. And they he grew up watching him. Yep. I mean, he, this guy Fedor watched Coleman and has always been a big fan of the veteran. Definitely is nothing but words of respect. Now Coleman goes for the right hand, does the shoot, but again it's stuffed by Emilianenko. And again, fans who saw the fight very similar to his battle with Mirko Krokop, and this has got to be frustrating the Olympic wrestler. I mean, much of the classic position for a single leg takedown. He has to do is spin in the back and try to finish it. He's trying, he's trying to work this double too much. It's going to be Fedor's too good in balance to be able to work a double leg hand like this. What does it say about the strength of Emilianenko? Wow, good job by Glicker Strength the Coleman to get that takedown. Now we got a chance here to see how those old ground apart efforts work. You know, everyone's excited, but you don't see any worry on Emilian Echo's face, although right now Coleman's in the open guard. Could I'll we see it. some ground and pound? Coleman did say the rules here. He felt a little restrictive for him in particular in Nevada. Well, the weight has paid off. Got to be careful. Let's get that set. Let's go back to that armbar again. Catching the head catches her again. He's a lot of trouble now. Is that going to be Deja Vu all over again? It is. Oh, wow. I'll tell you something. Every time Fredo wins, he gets and walks to his corner. He's never once stopped to bend down he never to check out an opponent. This is the first time he's bent down to check out an opponent, Mark Coleman. A man who, who knows it's his job. Celebrations, it's business as usual. Fedor of Millie.